Hi student. So um, in this video, we are going to learn about form 5 chapter 1 about microorganism. So what we are going to do is we are going to study as fast as possible. What you notice is when you are at school, your teacher might be very slow because sometimes they are very slow and sometimes they cannot finish their syllabus. I'm not saying the teacher is not good. I mean, I, I, uh, I mean, they, I mean, I don't know lah. I don't know why they cannot finish teach the syllabus. But for you, as a form five student, this is my advice to you. If you, you must plan by yourself, okay? You don't wait for your teacher to plan for you. Let's say, if you are taking SPM this year around November, you must finish learn all your form four, form five science finish all the syllabus by August, September because November you got SPM. Let's say November you got SPM. If November you got SPM, you cannot finish in October. Finish October, then November you got SPM. So you got no time to do revision. Then you start to panic. Then you, you cannot score in your science. So what you need to do is make sure you, if, if the, but now it's MCO, so I don't know when it's the SPM. Assuming that the SPM is starting November for science, you must finish your science syllabus, everything, not only science, sejarah, everything by September. At least you got one month to do past year paper to prepare for yourself for exam. For me, I'm a tuition teacher. Usually I will finish even earlier than two months. So I will spend two months with my students just to do past year paper, do until they start to warm it. Uh, then they will start to get used to the exam question and so on. So moving on. So last week we already learned microorganism. I think we'll stop at this page, which is I think this is our page, page twenty seven. So um we are going to learn. We are going to do this one, formative practice one point one. What are microorganism? So if you turn back to your page, what is microorganism at page? What is this page? This is page. For you can find microorganism is organism that cannot be seen with naked eye. Microorganism only can be seen with the help of microscope. So the keyword is cannot be seen with the naked eye. It only can be seen with a microscope. So that's the keyword. This one you you can write any sentence that you want. But the keyword is it cannot be seen with naked eye. It only can be seen with microscope. So you can remember or not two point what is a microorganism. It cannot be seen with naked eye. It only can be seen with the microscope. Is it straight away remember now? Okay, no need to wait until exam or need you need to remember. Okay, so I already answered for you. Let's look at question number two. Name five group of microorganism. Yeah, so name five category of microorganism. Fungi, alga, protozoa, bacteria, and virus. Okay, can or not? Just now I already show you, right? Okay, so now look, continue on. What are the characteristics used to classify microorganism into five group? So what is the keyword of for this question? What are the characteristics? Okay, so these are focusing on the characteristics. So let's see what are the characteristics. So the answer is here already. What are the characteristics? So can you see the characteristics or not at here? Can you see? I can see. So we can see the characteristic is, um, we can see that they define the five category according to their size, some of what, their shape, and some of got their nutrient, habitat, and methods of reproduction. So these are the characteristics of fungi. Of course, for algae, again, you go back to their size, their shape, their nutrient, their habitat, and their reproduction. So basically, the characteristic means the things to define them. So size, shape, nutrient, habitat and method of reproduction okay so let's move on okay where is my question here again
Okay. Name the group of microorganisms that reproduce asexually through the formation of spore. So, name the group of microorganisms that reproduce asexually. So, we need to find asexually through spore. So, usually students read this question and then if they don't know, they say, ah, I don't know, I don't know. So, then some smart students, they know. But the answer is in the textbook or not. It's very easy actually, even you cannot say you don't know because if you don't know, you can find textbook. The, maybe the question that you should ask is, how can I find the answer in the textbook? That's why I highlight it. A sexually and spore. So let's look at the textbook. A, we just need to find A sexually and spore. Where is it? I need to go up again. Um, a sexually and spore. So we can see for this one. Characteristic of let's go to fungi, right? Fungi is at the first one. So let's see fungi. Or let's go to the reproduction. Okay, reproduction. Here say a sexually is it spore? Yes, there's a spore here. So a sexually by budding and by spore. A sexually and spore. You can see here. A sexually and spore. So it could be it is fungi. And let's continue on. Let's see alga. Is it asexually and spore? Um, asexually, but I don't see spore. So not alga, algae. Let's see protozoa. Let's go to the reproduction. Um, where is it? Let's see. Uh, is it asexually? Okay. Is there any word for spore right here? Um, no, I cannot find the word spore, so don't have. Let's go to bacteria. Is it any word for asexually and spore? Again, no. I cannot see any word by spore, no. Last, what is this? Special characteristic. Endospore. Okay. Um... Okay, not this one. Uh, it's this. Okay, then we look at the virus. Is it asexually and by spore? Mm. No. So the answer is only fung fungi. Okay. Very easy. Okay, now let me go back to my question. Okay. Okay, so the answer here will be uh, fungi. State two basic structures that make up virus. What are the two basic structures that make up virus? So we, we look at the virus. Okay, so the question asks the, if I'm not the characteristic of the virus. So maybe we can say the special characteristic. Lah, like if I say asexual, some is asexual and some is sexual. But so I don't want to say the characteristic because it seems to be broad in terms of definition. So maybe we can talk about the size because here say um the size for the virus is the smallest microorganism less than 0.5 um. Only can be seen with electron microscope. We can say that because indeed virus is the smallest compared to all. Coronavirus is the smallest. And the shape I don't want to write because there's still a lot of shape in um, in other bacteria, right? So maybe I want to write this. Okay, virus are made up with nucleic acid trait, DNA or ramocleic acid. So virus are made up by DNA traits. Bacteria not made up by DNA. Fungi no, not made up by DNA. Algae no. And protozoa, so no, but only virus. So I will write these two characteristics. It's the smallest, it's made up with nuclear acid trait DNA. Okay. Or this one also you can write, I think, because virus is reproduced by the cell of the host. Instead of you can see reproduction, um they have budding, asexual, conjugation, 
spore formation, but for virus only reproduce by infecting cell of their host, like COVID-19. If the virus infect you, means your cell is the host for the virus, coronavirus. Okay. Okay, can or not? So it's in the textbook, uh, so you learn to find the answer by yourself, okay? I already highlight for you, uh, if you don't know, you just can copy the highlighted um, highlighted sentence. Huh? Hopefully you can get it correct. And let's move on. Two basic structures that make up a virus. Okay. Uh, sorry, uh, just now I thought I'm reading the question as characteristic of virus. So this one is say two basic structure of a virus. So the basic structure is um, RNA or DNA. Just now only the last part. Uh. RNA or DNA, not not the beginning part lah because I forget the question already. Name five factor that affect the growth of temperature. So what is this? What are the five factor? So oh, this man. yeah. So five factor for this one page nineteen ah. So what are the five factor? Humidity, light, temperature, pH value, and one more is what? Nutrient. So you just need to remember lah, okay? Uh, humidity, need water, right? No water, how to grow? That's why your food packaging, they don't have water at the, for your food, correct or not? Light, that's why your food also, they say keep away from light. Temperature, sometimes the packaging just say, keep in a cold place and dry place. pH value, um, I don't even want to make the food acidic, so that, there's no microorganism and can last for can last for very long. For example, like manga jero, correct not? The manga that is very put in the vinegar is very sour, and yet yeah, that that pH is very low, so bacteria cannot grow. And of course, nutrient. If there are food, then of course there are, there, are, there will be growth of bacteria. If there's no nutrient, there will be there will be no growth of bacteria. So we maybe we want to say that we want to keep ourselves clean so that there's no bacteria. Lah. You got if you dirty then you got nutrient for the bacteria to grow. It's a good habitat for the bacteria to grow. Continue on. Figure one show the type of microorganism. What is the group of microorganisms shown above? So before what is this actually? What is this name of this microorganism? So this one is called ameba, right? So we need to find ameba and see what group is it. So I found you. Page 10. What is this? So this is a uh, ameba. A-M-O-E-B-A. -E the question asks what category is in. So it's in the category of protozoa. Very good. What is the structure label X? So this is protozoa. What is the structure label X and state the function? So what is X and what is the function of X? Okay, just now I got a student ask me. Um, the answer is this one is ameba or protozoa. Let's look at the question. The question say what group rather than what name? What name? The answer will be protozoa. Eh, protozoa. The name will be ameba. What group? Will be protozoa. What name? Ameba. Name the structure level X. So I need to move up. Okay, so what is the answer? Can you find the answer? Okay, so for that question, and then some student will say X ma. X is this one, uh, X cell membrane. This, this is where the confusing part. Uh, but I won't say. How to say? Uh, I do. Uh, I. It's cell membrane lah, but from five they won't ask so easy ah. Real cell membrane is from, 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 from one, from two, from three answer right? Because you learn before cell membrane during from one, from two right? So the answer is not cell membrane. Some student will say X ma. The question asked wrong. X ma. X is cytoplasm. You also will get wrong. Cytoplasm is from one, from two, from three. From five, X is referring to cheng cheng cheng, pseudopia. Okay, so the answer is pseudopia, 
what is the function? The function is, let's see. Pisotopia is Pisotopia is like the hand. Okay, the hand for the ameba because he want to eat the food. So the hand come out, come out and eat the food. So the for form 5, we call it as Pisotopia is like the hand. But for here, he said the feet, la, the feet to move the to move or engulf the foot to move or engulf the foot engulf means take in uh, take in the foot during phagocytosis phagocytosis is the process the process of prosodopia engulfing the foot the name of the process phagocytosis process so the question might ask Pisodopia, the function of pisodopia. What is phagocytosis? What is the name of this process? Or he might just give you this picture and ask you what process is this? Phagocytosis. Then he put the label, ask you to label. You label pisodopia. What is the function? It acts as a force feed as according to your notes. Four feet to engulf the food. Ah, this is form five. So, yep, yeah. yeah. So this is form five. Um, but it's very misleading, right? Because it really looks like cell membrane. But I think it's uh, what well, pseudopia. Okay. Um, maybe I can help me ask your teacher because I I don't have the marking scheme actually. I just do it from my own experience microorganism good or bad sometimes microorganism can be good sometimes microorganism can be bad correct or not we learn this at normal flora so let's look at the good people application of useful microorganism lactobacillus this one is what put in the vegetarian one right to put in the good bacteria that you can always see in vitagen and nutrient uh what is it the advertisement and actually you can even make by yourself um and yeah you can make it by yourself actually you can go youtube and see animal digestion for agriculture yeast we can use it for food or oh, beverages is the drink beverages something you put in your drink leather food then we have hormone and insulin um, for medicine we have vaccine um, antibiotic okay so antibiotic if you still remember for from four we learn right antibiotic and there's a vaccine so antibiotic is to kill bacteria so you are infected bacteria i'm going to put antibiotic that maybe it will destroy or slow down the growth of bacteria and then we have vaccine we want to find corona vaccine means after you put in the vaccine it contains that pathogen or weakened virus it's still virus and no vaccine when they put in the vaccine into your body it's actually virus but it's a weakened virus to stimulate your body so that when you put in you will your body will thought this is a bad guy then your body will start to produce antibody to resist coronavirus for example of course since you say it is something you inject in and it's a dead pathogen there could be side effect that's why why the vaccine takes so long it's not like okay do, uh, coronavirus let's put the vaccine tomorrow give hundred thousand people no, you need to study, you need to do research. And because it's a dead pathogen, we don't know that what are the side effects that might happen. Let's say you give 10,000 people and then one people will die out of it. Every 10,000 medicine you give, one people die. Do you want to proceed it? Or every 1,000 medicine, one people die? It's, it's still debatable, right? Every 10,000, one people die. It might happen, you know. But you don't know because only one man. But it will happen or it might happen you never know due to allergy sometimes due to allergy you know right the person 
you eat, let's say the allergy is very bad, so you eat the food, seafood, you got very bad allergy, you then you the person can die, you know, due to allergy. Same like the medicine. But this one you eat, or this one is straight away put inside. So let's say the person got allergic towards that medicine, then the person is in a very critical zone, which can cause death. Okay, implication of useful microorganism in medicine, agriculture, and industry. What? Industry to earn money, industry. Hmm. To explain the role of microorganism medicine the instruction, so yeah, this one you can go Google and do your group project. And yeah, it's very nice. I miss my old times when I was young to play, to do all these things. Potential use of microorganisms in biotechnology and sustainability of environment. Correct or not? We want to use in biotechnology, like living thing and technology. So, so for this one, we can see that um, it can produce eco enzyme. Okay, for what? For for the waste. Correct or not? At the sewage. So let's say if the sewage is very smelly, got a lot of bacteria, then you can pour in your eco enzyme. Eco enzyme like um, I don't know. You can buy it actually even in Shopee. Let's say your longkang is very busy. So sewage means longkang, ah, the longkang in English word sewage or the drain inside the longkang. Longkang is something you see. Sewage sometimes means you see or sometimes you don't see like the like the what is it called yeah the ghost movie called it la the clown it it is it that eat the baby one la. then he hide inside the longkang one sewage okay we don't say longkang right because it's sewage and we use it to produce eco enzyme eco enzyme like you can buy it so you will buy one bottle of one point five liter here right eco enzyme and you pour inside the longkang the drain and what you do is it will um, it will produce eco enzyme from the agriculture waste fermentation. So it's actually a like enzyme lah, okay? Enzyme to treat it. So eco enzyme cleaning solution. So we can see it. It's a product obtained from fermentation in agriculture waste. Okay, so we can see this eco enzyme in a solution of cleaning and for chemical Simpson. In fact, you can also make your own enzyme, right? I don't know whether you got your auntie or uncle, that the relative, sometimes they use to make enzyme, right? You just use your orange peel, if I'm not mistaken, you need to collect at least 100 gram of fruit peel. After you eat your finish of fruit, you take the fruit peel, 100 grams, if you're not mistaken, then you mix it with the brown sugar, 300 gram, then you put water for one liter, close it and wait for it to ferment for one month. Then after that, when you pull it out, it smells nice and you can use it to wash plate. You can use it to wash floor, the enzyme. You don't need to waste money, no need to waste the food peel. And it is healthy, it is nice, you can put in the spray and spray 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 in your house. It's it's very nice. Like you can go YouTube and learn uh, to read the way to make this enzyme. I never made before. Okay, I never made this before. But I, I got a lot of a few friends, auntie uh, usually that make this enzyme. Okay, so let's see this one. Um, expect eco enzyme cleaning solution and chemical cleaning substance. So we can see here. Um, this is the eco enzyme, and this is the chemical. Eco enzyme, you can see it looks like really self made, right? Like using your fruit peel, and this washing is you can buy in speed mart. Let's see what's the difference. Production, fermentation for agriculture, hmm, use chemical substance. Which one is better? Let's do some scoring, see who will win this game. So, of course, this one is better. Lah, huh? Because it is a uh, agriculture base, it is natural. This one chemical when you pour in is still if the soap is not biodegradable, it will pollute the water. Means your water will continue to have bubble. 
is poisonous and it is not good for the water. Action on fat and grease. Enzyme in the echo decomposes fat and grease into smaller molecules. Very good. Surface in chemical cleaning substance absorbs fat and grease into foam. This is also very good. I mean both win. They also can clean fat and grease. This means the black color oil. Yeah? The black black color oil. At the bicycle chain there, there's a grease. Black color grease. Or uh, on fat, fat got a lot of definition. Like... Um, I'm fat. It's a compliment to me, but this is not action clean me. Uh. Fat also means it referring to oil. Okay, it could be referring to oil, it could be referring to margarine and so on. Ease of use need to scrub as fat grease. Need not to scrub as fat and grease are actually fat. Need to scrub. This one no need to scrub because you don't need to like this scrub. Uh. Scrub. Uh. Like this is called scrub. This one you need to scrub. <coughs> so this one I give one mark. This one no 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 point. But actually, if you have enzyme also you need to scrub correct or not. Because you let's say you put the spray, you spray, spray, spray into the plate, you still need to wipe the plate, right? You don't you don't just leave it there. So but the textbook say no need to scrub lah. So I just follow the book lah. You follow the book, you get one mark, okay? Uh yeah, that's the Truth, I think both also need to scrub lah, but the textbook say no need lah. Just follow the textbook. Clog drainage. Clog. What do you mean by you know drain? Clog drainage. Drain is the long gang. Okay, clog drainage means the molecule produced by the enzyme do not clog drainage, and this one foam and then clog the drainage. So again, one more point from here means it won't jam the long gang. The drain will be smooth. This one will jam. Jam the long gang. Because it's the the foam produced by surface to clog the drain niche. Yeah. It, it does. That's why usually my mark people they always complain their drain clog because they always walls, got a lot of oil, it stick into the pipe. Correct or not? The oil will stick into the pipe and then it will continue to build and build and build. So the pipe will become smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay. Cost. Of course, this one is low cost. You don't need to even buy this. You just need to every time your mom cut the apple and you got the peel, you just keep it orange peel, apple peel, um, the skin, I mean, I'm referring to the mango, 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 uh, not mango, I mean, mango is nice. Means after you spray, you can smell the mango peel. And even... How to say uh, the I think lemon is one of the best. Seriously, lemon. You the lemon, the enzyme lemon, you spray it, it's very nice and healthy. Not like when you go and buy the speed mark, uh, you need to you need to pss, and then all the main chemical of lemon. This one is really hundred percent pure lemon because you make it yourself, you know it's lemon. It's just brown sugar and lemon only. And some, some yeast, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, sorry, you need to put yeast inside, if I'm not mistaken. Cost is high. Actually, not high. Lah. Actually, I tell my auntie, I don't want to make enzyme. Lah. I just want to buy because you buy soap also 4 ringgit only. Lah. I mean, I buy soap in Spima 4 ringgit. Lah. The, you know, the green color big bottle for 2 liter. I feel it's easier. Lah. Just pay people 4 ringgit to buy the soap. But not environmental friendly, okay? So I hope that you use enzyme, uh, don't be like me. I'm, I'm working, uh, I'm busy, uh, you're a student, right? So you should use enzyme. Waste production is less. One more mark. This one, no mark. Environment friendly, pollutant. Uh, the only thing that I don't want to do enzyme because I need to wait two months. Here they didn't say, uh, you should say uh, how long you take to make enzyme. Enzyme is not mistaken. After you keep it, you need to seal it. You need to wait for two months. I seriously, I cannot wait for two months. Okay, but you can uh, because you are a science student, right? Uh, so you, you can. Okay. Okay, Lactobacillus sp bacteria serum. What is Lactobacillus sp dot bacteria serum? 
is used to treat wastewater and drainage. Okay, so this one is to treat treat means not to treat you eat ah, treat you eat food. Treat also means to solve the problem of wastewater. Wastewater means the the water that you use lah in your kitchen or what. So we can see this one use of lead pipe to treat remove treat sewage. Uh, let's say your to treat sewage. I I'm not sure whether it's for clogging purposes. Sometimes your water cannot go in. Maybe you just pour in. It can solve the problem. Remove order means very smelly. Let's say your sometimes uh, the hole uh, your kitchen hole the come out smell is not good. You you because inside got water and a lot of the bad thing inside. So maybe you want to buy this one you can buy enzyme i think or you can buy this one facilitate facilitate animal digestion okay facilitate animal digestion um means help the animal to to uh, better lah uh, to eat things better like the way tajin right after you drink it help in digestion make compost uh, make compost. Maybe they are talking about making fertilization and fertilization, but fertilizer. Okay, so it can be used to make fertilizer for the plant. Fertilizer, ah, uh, um, Chinese we call it fei liao, ah, 那个冬，呃，呃，那个菜的肥料，那个树的肥料。Improve fishing industry. You might put into the pond for Eco-friendly purpose. Um, we can also it can use to produce enzyme. So we can see this lactobacillus sp bacteria serum activity. So this one you can do in your with your friends. Hope this this is nice lah. This activity, but it will take a lot of time. Then why sometimes your teacher cannot complete the syllabus because I'm a tuition teacher. So I will all the thing I will skip. I only will teach what come out in exam. But this is not fun. It's it's really not fun. Science is about fun, right? So you need to learn all these thing. It's fun to learn all these thing. Okay. Okay. Let's do this question. Um, name two example of microorganisms in each of the following field. Two example of medicine, agriculture, industry. So we can see what are the application of useful organism, the useful microorganism. So for the industry of, uh, for the industry, um, the microorganism can be used in the production of beverage, in the production of leather good. Leather good means like what, like the carpet, the jewelry. I think okay, carpet jewelry. So, or in the production of food. So when the question asks, give one use. You don't say beverage, huh? People ask you what use you say beverage. People ask you what is the use, food, huh? Food, food, food. What? Food eat ah. Food you. Food means what? So you cannot say um as such. You need to say uh for example in terms of industry, it is for the production of food. Or you can say. To make food, or you can say process food. Anything lah, but make it a sentence, okay? I like to say produce because I think it's easier for the production of food, for the production of beverages means drink ah, like your water gin or what. Or this one also laxi bacillus ah that we learned just now. Or the production of leather good. In terms of agriculture, it can be used. I cannot say production of animal digestion, right? It, it sounds so weird. So I can say for agriculture, um, it can be used for animal digestion, and this one is to, and it can work as nutrifying bacteria. Okay, it can be, it can be as, um, it can work as like just say work as nutrifying bacteria. In terms of medicine, it can be used for. I just I like to use the word production. Okay, for the production of vaccine, for the production of antibiotic like penicillin, for the production of hormones like insulin.
You don't need to follow me. You use your own word. Don't follow my word. Follow my word, you will forget. Use your own word. So you can say maybe um can make use to make vaccine one mark. Use to make antibiotic one mark. Use to make can be used to make hormone like insulin one mark. Okay, use use your own word. Okay, so um for this video, let's do this one as the last question. State two examples of food that be of food that use microorganisms and deem the microorganism. Wait, uh, let me read the question again. State two examples of food that use microorganisms and name the micro. So to the what is the name of the food and the microorganism that help. So for this one, uh, we can say that two examples of food. So maybe we can say wine, correct or not? Wine. Uh, so I just type it in. Uh, you, you, I just type in key form. Lah, okay. Example. Eh, wine is not a food eh, actually. I don't want to change the, change the wine to cake. Lah, okay. So maybe we can say we want to use cake. With example of food is the cake. And the microorganism will be the yeast to act to ferment it. Okay. Actually, you don't need to write ferment right there. Or oh, they, they here got say okay, the use of the microbiome to eh, not to ferment eh. the yeast for the cake is for okay. So also to cause a uh, ferment, sorry, also to ferment. To ferment it, to uh, convert the fermented sugar into a dough. Or we can say to cause the bread to rise. I put this word, huh? Cause the bread to rise easier. Cause the cake to rise. And one more is we can say is um maybe we can say to eh one is cake. What is the another one that um we already say yeah? Uh, oh, for example to make um yogurt or cheese. So I just write cheese lah huh? to make uh, yogurt lah. I like to eat yogurt. Yogurt. The name of the microorganism is bacteria. Correct or not? Yogurt got healthy bacteria, right? And maybe I can write the name of the bacteria is Lactobacillus, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I think no need. Lah. Should I write Lactobacillus? Okay. Then I just write Lactobacillus. It's a very long word, lah, but I just write that first. So yogurt, um, it needs bacteria to... What is the purpose of the bacteria? Okay, to produce lactic acid which coagulate the milk. Okay, so this will be the answer. Um, yep, is to coagulate the milk. So yogurt is made from the milk, like in case you don't know. Coagulate means to make it more like jelly jelly, okay? Make it harder, make it look like jelly. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.